Flash programming is easy with Universal Scan. You just tell Universal Scan how the Flash device is connected to the JTAG chain, select a data file, and hit Program. For this demo, we have a Flash device connected to this FPGA in the JTAG chain. To program that PROM, we just select the Flash Programmer from the Tools menu, which brings up the Flash Programmer toolbar. The only button that's active is the Setup button, so we'll select that. In this setup dialog, you specify the data file that you want to put in the PROM, you tell Universal Scan how your PROM is configured, you set up the signal pins, any bank selects, statics, any options you want to select, and any algorithm options you want to select. In this case, we're just going to load a demo file that we had previously saved to disk. And it fills in all the blanks for us. In this example, we have a data bus that is 8 bits wide, a PROM whose maximum possible width is 8 bits wide and who's currently in an 8-bit mode. This PROM is sitting at address 0. We have all of our address signals, our data signals and control signals specified. There are no bank selects. There are no static signals. We've set up our options and any offsets and we set up our algorithm options. We say OK and we see if Universal Scan can talk to the PROM by hitting the Info button. This brings up a dialog that shows us all of the options that the user specified and then it goes and tries to identify the PROM. Here Universal Scan tried to see if it was a CFI device, it wasn't. Then it looked to see if it was an Intel device, it couldn't find anything. Then it went to go see if it was an AMD device, it found the AMD device and then it displays for you all of the programming commands and configurations that go along with that PROM. Given that, we know we can communicate with the PROM so now we're ready to program the device. To program the device, we just hit the Program button. Again, Universal Scan goes out and identifies the device, erases the device. This was a small device that only took two seconds to erase. Then it programs the device. This is a very small data file, so it won't take very long at all to do it. Beware that for larger devices, this will take quite a while. I'll let that finish. Let's see, it took 18 seconds to program that PROM. Now it's verifying it and Universal Scan tells us that took five seconds. We're done. That's all there is to it. Now we can go view the PROM by hitting the View button. Universal Scan goes out and collects the first page of data from the PROM. And sure enough, this is all the data that we put in there. This is a little text message to the user. That's all there is to it. If you wanted to change the data file, you just go back into Setup, hit Browse, go find another data file to put in there. Let's see if I can pick one for us here. We'll try this one, say OK, hit Program, and away we go again. Again, this device only takes a couple seconds to erase. Most devices take a couple minutes, so beware. We're going to program our little itty-bitty data file in here. And we'll verify it. That programming operation took 17 seconds, the verify took 5, and we're done. Now we can go view that data file in the PROM, and it's got a different text message for us. And the viewer, of course, you can page up, page down, next line, go to a specific address, anything you want. And that's really all there is to it. We just programmed this device twice, and we didn't need any netlists any special test fixtures, any test executives, or anything else normally associated with traditional boundary scan test. Download the free trial today and give it a try. Also, be sure to check out the second video on Flash Programming for a detailed look at how to set up the Flash Programmer with all the options available.